Hello Capricorn, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Capricorn, this is your reading for the last 10 days of January and this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Okay, Capricorn, I would also appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Capricorn, uh, look, in this reading, we'll see what is your energy, what is the energy of the person you are thinking about, you are dealing with, what is the mutual energy between you and this person, okay? Uh, right, before we proceed, I would just like to inform you, Capricorn, that the readings for 2022 have been uploaded, okay? They have been uploaded on Vimeo link for that reading is in description box and in the comment section okay look in that reading i have provided general advice i have informed you what is it that you need to know when it comes to your love life when it comes to your money your spiritual journey uh, for year 2022 okay based on the energies that i have sensed during the entire reading i have also recommended three gemstones you can work with these gemstones during the entire year of 2022 so link is in description box and in comment section now let's get back to this reading okay let me lay down the cards first i'm not yet done shuffling so we have nine of cups then we have is queen of swords and we have is seven of wands then we have is queen of cups we have is uh, eight of pentacles and we have is uh, ten of swords then we have is the world and we have a page of pentacles okay so capricorn you may be dealing with taurus leo Scorpio, Aquarius, all fixed signs, okay? You may also be dealing with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay, I'm hearing Taurus. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the sign. So we have nine of cups. We have a queen of swords. And we have a seven of ones for you, Capricorn. Capricorn, with that nine of cups, I feel like you're feeling happy about certain things. Okay. There is suddenly, there is this some sort of an energy like energy boost inside you uh you're feeling good from within you're feeling joyful and look for feeling happy and joyful it is not necessary that you need to have reasons for that there is there should absolutely be no reason to feel happy and joyful about anything okay like if i want to be happy i'm feeling joyful i'm just being joyful and happy okay like you absolutely have no reason for uh, like like why you are feeling so ecstatic and happy you're just simply feeling happy and that should be the that should be the spirit you sh every single person should feel happy in their life they should not try to find hap uh, they should not try to find reasons to become happy okay it can be simply like you are uh, working on your body you are eating healthy okay because of these factors also those feel good hormones get released okay because of these factors also we start feeling happy about ourselves we start feeling the joy within ourselves okay so what i see is that you are in that joyful energy you are feeling extremely happy like the kind of happiness that you probably had never experienced in in last many years after real 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 long time you are experiencing this true happiness and with it <laughs> i don't understand why this energy of feeling possessive and protective has to uh, 
uh, erupt in every single situation okay <laughs> with that queen of swords and with the with the seven of wands what i feel is like capricorn you're trying to protect this uh, situation okay you're trying to protect you're trying to make you're trying to make sure that no one comes and screw up your happiness whatever you're feeling you're really enjoying that okay and you really don't want anyone to screw up that that phase that you are experiencing okay that that joy you are experiencing that true happiness that you are experiencing you are trying to protect your you yeah you're a bit obsessive about protecting your happiness okay so say for example you just know that there are a few people around you who 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 annoy you very fast or who are a bit irritating you're like simply telling them like you do guys you just stay away from me for 10 days okay <laughs> I don't know that's a funny energy but I'm liking that uh, okay nice nice you you are in a different energy right now okay you are absolutely in a different energy and I'm really liking this energy capricorn okay uh so yes you are trying to protect uh, your happiness which is a good thing and you're also making some conscious efforts to stay away from certain people in your life okay who have sort of pushed you to go against you, your true self okay you are someone who is very calm and composed you are someone who doesn't like to become angry you are someone who likes to deal with all the problem with lot of calmness okay you are you're not someone who becomes hyper or uh, your bp doesn't shoots up if you see problems in your life okay you are rather extremely contradictory uh, uh, contrary to to someone like this okay you you do not lose your temper you you do not lose your calm uh while dealing with any kind of problems be let the situation be volatile okay even if it is extremely volatile you never lose your calm okay so and what i see is that then there are some people in and around you capricorn who sort of who sort of make efforts to trigger you all the time trigger you in such a manner that trigger you in a such a manner that sometimes you had to act out of your like you really had to lose your temper or you really had to you really became angry and this is not who you truly are and what i see is like you are trying to stay away from such kind of people people who try to provoke you people who try to trigger you there are some energies in and around you okay and you you are making some conscious efforts to stay away from such people in fact in in many cases you are you have broken like you have distanced yourself from many people as well like your your friends circle you have resigned from couple of jobs and you are like i am going to do something of my own okay you have felt like your you always felt like your efforts are not getting validated your efforts are not getting acknowledged and you always developed like you ended up developing that frustration and that annoyance within within you because you felt like your efforts or whatever you're doing it's it's not getting acknowledged anywhere so you had a really frustrating experience in the past okay and you have decided like like why should i work for someone else or why should i surround myself with toxic people like when i can be the boss of my own life okay let me do things and i am a very capable and a skillful person let me do those things so what i see is you probably are doing something of your own and not many people know what you're doing okay one of the reasons why you have kept it as a secret is because you really don't want few people to know what are you doing you really don't want people to, a few people to know about your whereabouts there are, there have been some people in your life who were absolutely nosy okay so one of the yeah so like that is why the queen of swords is is uh, like the energy from the queen of swords is coming out so strong you are trying to act very defensive or you're trying to protect yourself from someone or something or few energies okay
So we have Queen of Cups and we have his Eight of Pentacles and we have his Ten of Swords for your person. Okay. Someone is absolutely heartbroken, Capricorn. Someone wants to share a lot of love with you, but they are considering you as a lost opportunity, but they are not able to forget you, okay? Whosoever this person is, Capricorn, like this person, they made some serious efforts to move on, I'll be honest over here. They, they, of course, they, even as of now, they do have options, Capricorn. They do have options, but they cannot stop thinking about you. This person is absolutely heartbroken over you. They love you and they want you back, Capricorn. They love you. They consider your love as, as, uh, they don't know. They are not able to explain that. They, they don't know why they are not able to forget you. They feel like they still feel that magnetic pull towards you. They still feel that they feel like you have this hypnotizing effect on them. Okay, like you have hypnotized them. Okay, they they keep on wondering at times like did Capricorn hypnotize me? Why am I not able to forget Capricorn? I have so many options and still I'm not looking at those options and I am feeling heartbroken. I'm feeling dead within myself. This person was probably codependent on you for love, for their happiness. And you withdrew everything, right? You withdrew your love. You withdrew. You probably have blocked this person. What I feel is rather than you needing this person, you of course you don't need this person. And now that this person has uh, whatever they did to you, you absolutely don't want them back. Okay? But they they want you more like they they need you more yeah they also want you more and they also need you more okay they are absolutely codependent on you for a couple of things this you walking away from their life was a big 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 lesson for this person big lesson for this person they are learning that but they are taking some time they're going to take some time. They're going to take some time to come out of this energy. Ten of Swords. The world and page of pentacles. Someone from a far off distance is coming your way. Someone from a far off distance. You are completing certain cycles. This new person is completing certain cycles. They are coming. Yeah, and anyways, you are also ready. With that nine of cups, you are ready. You are like, yeah, just I'm just one cup away from ten of cups situation okay so whosoever the next person is going to be this person is going to be your your partner your future spouse your long-term partner okay all right i hope this resonates and hit like hit like share and subscribe and comment down below and the readings for 2022 have been uploaded on vimeo the link for the same is in description box and in the comments section, Capricorn, okay? And uh, I have provided general advice for the entire year 2022. I've seen what is it that you need to know when it comes to your uh, love life, when it comes to your uh, career, your money. What is it that you need to know when it comes to your spiritual journey for 2022, okay? And based on the energies that I have sensed during the entire year, uh, Capricorn, uh, sorry, during the entire reading, I have recommended three gemstones, semi-precious gemstones. You can work with these gemstones during the entire year. Okay. All right. Bye-bye then.